Teresa Dufour. As CT staff remains on hiatus, we continue to showcase Connecticut businesses around the state that are open and ready for business. And if you're looking for a sweet summer treat, Munson's Chocolates in Old Mystic Village and really around the state, they have you covered. And today we are so lucky because we are visiting them at their headquarters in Bolton. We have President Karen Munson here. So great to see you, Karen. So nice to see you, Teresa. And I'm so excited we get to see the behind the scenes tour finally. Absolutely, absolutely. We're thrilled to have you here. So um, obviously you have your protective gear on. Talk to me about how things are a little bit different now at Munson's. So food safety is something that's always been um, extremely important to us. And this is really um, the hair nets are something that we've always had, gloves that we've always had. Now we have the face masks that we're wearing in our plant. We're social distancing. We're taking temperatures. It's really an extension of the food safety protocols that have already been in place in our facility. Sure. And we should definitely talk about some of uh, the favorite treats at summertime, right? Absolutely. And you know, fudge is our number one bestseller when it comes to the summertime. Uh, it's something that transports well. You don't have to worry about melting. It's the number one item that we ship across country during the summertime. It's one of the number one products in our stores. People come in for hostess gifts, for family birthdays or whatnot. Celebrations have not been suspended over the course of this process. People are still celebrating and they're still doing it with Munson's chocolates. You still need chocolate, nonetheless, yeah. right? <laughs> now more than ever, I would argue. Now more than ever. All right, and uh, stores are open? All of our stores open on the first day that we were able to, May 20th. So we are all open and ready to serve the customer. In addition to shopping in store, customers can, of course, shop online. And we also have curbside options available as well. Very good. Well, let's see what's going on. What are you guys making? Okay, so today we're going to make fudge, one of our number one bestsellers for the summer. And I'm going to start off by introducing you to Mike Fisher. He's the head of production for our company, and he's going to go ahead and take us through the manufacturing process of some fudge. Yes, let's see. Hi, Mike. Hi, how are you? Terrific. What a job you have. I love it. It's great. <laughs> so today we're going to be making some fudge. And all of our batches begin with fresh dairy cream and butter that we source from a local dairy that uses only Jersey cows. Uh, we start the batch by putting our... our, our, our Chocolate in, right? We need our ingredients. Yes, in the kettle, and we put it out. We use copper kettles. We do everything in small batches. Mm -hmm. So the next thing we do is get the fire, get the mixer going, and we okay. get it And then we put these batches into our mixing station. Once we get all the final ingredients mixed in, then we go over it and we finish, we transfer it to this final station over here, we, we add the final ingredients. All right, let's see. So Kevin will be doing pouring some in the, in the containers for you here and popping it. Wow. That looks delicious. Yes, it's, it's salted caramel fudge, one of our top sellers. And I'm assuming you add different flavors towards the end. Is that how that works? Uh, you'll see as Kevin adds a layer of caramel. Oh. Okay, there we go. Then he'll be topping it again with some more chocolate fudge. Delicious. Once, yeah, it is <laughs> delicious. Once that's done, he'll add. He'll put it up over, and we'll add some some beautiful liquid caramel to the top. That's great. Is that a, a small batch, I'm assuming? Do you make bigger yeah, batches? All of our batches are small batches. Mm -hmm. We like to use the, the, the freshest local ingredients. We think it, makes, it, it just makes the best finished product. Oh, the finishing touch. Now, does that have to stick, or how does that kind of... So now we're going to pour a little with a knife. Okay. Incorporate those flavors all through the batch. Looking delicious. <laughs> and then top it off with some nice coarse sea salt that we think brings all the flavors together at the end. Yeah, you have that sweet salty combination, right? <laughs> oh, it can't be beat. You guys make a lot of fudge, don't you? We sure do, especially in the summer. Wow, well that is awesome. I'm so glad we got to see how this all comes together. Very nice. 
Mike, thank you for giving us uh, the play-by-play. -play. That was terrific. Oh, you're very welcome. I guess. So I can show you some of the final products. Yeah, let's see. So one of the things, Teresa, that um, we are so um, we're so detailed and passionate about our process. A lot of times when you have fudge in different stores when you're traveling over the course of the summer, it's a lot of it is a mixed kit. Mm -hmm. Add water, mix, and pour out. This painstaking process that we go through really is what makes our fudge so unique and so different. Yeah, we'll just leave it up to the professionals. You guys make it. We'll eat it. Karen, Mike, thank you so much for chatting with us today. Of course, you can learn more over at MunsonsChocolates.com. Uh, Karen, you're shipping around the country, right? You are indeed. Thank you for joining us, Teresa. Have a great rest of your summer. Thank you.